Eating San Francisco is the new class here at USF. We just went to North Beach Bocce Cafe. Here's what we saw. Inside the classroom at Bocce Cafe, the large group of 18 attempts to document a North Beach experience. What I'm trying to get out of this is, is for all of us to kind of explore the intersections between food and culture. And on top of that, I'm really interested in all of us exploring the intersections between food culture in San Francisco. So I thought the best way to do field trips and to get us into the city is to get us pulled into the city through food. And so by, by kind of um, hopping around different food places in the city, I thought it would be a way to um, get us to better understand the city. But how can an authentic adventure fully be enjoyed when cameras are flashing in every direction? Drinks are served, take a picture. Food is brought to the table, take a picture. Someone takes a picture. Can I take a picture of you with your camera? Take a picture. Nevertheless, we broke bread, devoured dishes, and sipped wine. Not sounding very academic? On the contrary, according to senior Nick Minot. I would say just, just experimenting with, with new media and, uh, and the freedom that you get to kind of, you have to create things on your own. I mean, it, they, they sound like relatively easy classes, and I'll joke about, you know, eating San Francisco, it's an easy class. But at the same time, I mean, teachers are really putting a lot on you to, to take it as an intellectual venture. With the cooking done, the kitchen cleaned, and students seemingly satisfied, Ramon took a moment to explain the important role the Internet plays for restaurants. It's really helpful to, uh, for the people to find our restaurant and we, uh, we do a lot of advertising over the internet, so I mean, yeah, it's a real big deal and a big uh, advertising tool at the internet right now. Yeah. I mean, uh, people really do search uh, like the um, site like Yelp and Open Table. They go over there and uh, you know search and read the reviews, and that sometimes is really important. After a delicious dish, it was time for a walk to our second destination, the Italian French Bakery. Over 100 years old and rich in North Beach history, the partners of the bakery can be compared to the Beats, a group of people from all walks of life coming together in San Francisco to share a collective passion, in their case poetry, and a place for public discourse. For the Chinese, Japanese, and Italian owners of the French Italian Bakery, their work is to uphold culture, history, and community through basic bread. These particular immigrants that are associated with this institution is they came here with their skills and that was bread making. This is European style. So what you're going to see is uh, European style breads. That's the rustic ones, the ones that go crunch like that and they flake all over. But why don't you come back? There are only three old fashioned brick ovens still working in San Francisco and two are located at this bakery. The simplicity of bread mixed with the kneading of quality allows this bakery to continue to rise even through tough economic times. With free loaves of bread and an official assignment, ESF students are dismissed with a new appetite, the thirst for knowledge, and a hunger to produce media.